Hey everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Today marks the second week for June's Room of the Month challenge with Heidi Sambel and a few other friends here on YouTube. Check out the links down below in the description box and the playlist so that way you can follow along with us as we make over these rooms. So you guys might remember from last week, the room I am doing is my guest bedroom and it was a total disaster. I went in and I cleaned it all up and got rid of a bunch of things and gave a lot of things away. And now I have a clean slate to work with and it is time for paint. The paint I'm going with is Swiss Coffee by Volspar. It's just a real light creamy color. Actually, it's pretty much the same color that is already on the walls around the teal. Um, so I didn't realize that, but it's nice to give them a fresh coat of paint. And then also I am going to cover up that teal wall with the Swiss Coffee. Now where that teal wall used to be, it is now a Swiss coffee and that is going to be my feature wall. So you might remember from last week I had on my design inspiration board some faux shiplap peel and stick wallpaper and I was going to purchase this um, but I needed about six rolls to cover this wall and unfortunately that was gonna be around $150. So I needed a more budget friendly option so I decided to go ahead and faux paint the shiplap on the wall instead. Now to start on the faux painted shiplap wall, first I needed to mark my shiplap lines, which I wanted them to be six inch pieces of shiplap. So I measured from the top of my ceiling down to the baseboards and I took that number and I divided it by six to see how many boards I was going to draw out. And then it didn't end up being an even number. So I knew that I needed to start at the ceiling so that way I could have a full board at the top and then at the bottom I would end up with a slimmer uh, piece of shiplap down there so that way it'll look more cohesive because that bottom piece you won't notice as much because the bed will be covering it. So I went ahead and went all the way down the wall and marked my lines every six inches and then I came back with my level and I marked with a pencil all the way along the length of the wall, my shiplap lines all the way down to the bottom of the wall. Once I was finished marking the lines for the shiplap, it was time to start the faux painting. And I wanted this to have a wood grain feel, so I went ahead and picked up one of these wood graining tools. I found it on Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description box. It's really inexpensive and easy to use. But I wanted the wall to have that wood grain texture. So that is what I used for this. And for the secondary paint, I picked up some Soulful Gray by Volspar. And I mixed some of that with some mixing gel by Volspar. And this is supposed to help prolong the drying time of the paint. So that way it's easier to faux paint on your walls. Now it was time to start faux painting. So I loaded my paintbrush up with that mixing gel mixed with the Soulful Gray and I applied it to the wall in one of those sections that I drew out for the shiplap. I started at the bottom of the wall and I just applied it a little bit at a time. I didn't go all the way across that section because I didn't know how this was going to work out. So I just applied a little bit and then I came back with my wood graining tool and I started at the corner of the wall and I rocked that wood graining tool back and forth along that paint until I got to the end of the paint. Once I got that done, it did definitely give me that wood grain look, but it was too defined for me. So I wanted to kind of mellow it out a little bit. So I ended up applying a little bit more of that Swiss coffee color and then rocking that wood graining tool back and forth again along the wall. So I kind of just played with it until I got the look that I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be too stand out. Like I didn't want that bold wood grain look. I kind of just wanted that wood grain look, but it looked like it was covered up with some paint. So it looked like painted shiplap. So I continued to do this down the line and then I started on the next line and continued to do that line. Thank you. 
Once I had painted those two sections with the faux wood look, I came back and I went ahead to where that pencil mark I drew out for the line for the shiplap, and I went over that just with some regular soulful gray and a small paintbrush. And I just made that line all the way across the wall. It didn't have to be perfect because I wanted it to look kind of rustic and old and um, kind of really like shiplap. So I just went all the way down the wall. And then I just continued to work my way up. I would do a section of shiplap with the wood grain look, and then I would come back and I would paint that line in between until I finished the wall. And this is how the wall turned out. I think it is beautiful and it's really going to pull this room together. And I got that shiplap look for a fraction of the cost of real shiplap and the peel and stick shiplap. So I am thrilled with the outcome. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can follow along for the rest of the month of June to see how this room gets completed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the other ladies in the playlist linked down below so you can see how their rooms are progressing for this month. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.